on today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, how to build a list using YouTube. And today's episode is made possible by TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy. If you use YouTube for marketing, you need to have a buddy and TubeBuddy is the buddy you need. In fact, it's going to give you all sorts of really cool marketing tools added directly into your YouTube channel. So you can actually go right to YouTube and find buttons and all sorts of cool tools right at your fingertips, including the ability to set up a whole bunch of different preset informations for when you upload videos. So if you want to get an edge on the competition, then you need a buddy, you need TubeBuddy. Head on over to TubeBuddy.com slash RayTheVideoGuy to start your free version of TubeBuddy right now. And by the way, you don't even need to pay for it. You can use the free one forever. The paid one has a lot of cool stuff, but you definitely want the free one. So head on over to TubeBuddy.com slash Ray the Video Guy. And with that, Steve, are you ready to hear that funky music? I, in, I indeed am. Then here it comes. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, I'm Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise and has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper, dutifully taking show notes. Yes. Here on the Earn.Show Podcast Network. Yes, indeed. And for those of you that like to hear our podcast, you can actually join us live each Friday at 2 o'clock on Facebook, where we actually record the podcast. We actually stream it live as we record it because, uh, you know, some of our lesser peers like uh, Howard Stern and uh, Imus did the same thing. So we figure since we're much bigger deals, we should do the exact same thing. And we didn't want to use one of those silly TV networks. We used Facebook because that's the hip thing because we're yeah, yeah. hipsters. I don't even know what a hipster is, but I'm a hipster. So you there are. you are. You can join us okay. and see it live and even comment on it and get your feedback right away. Like Flash, who is here, he's already commenting on our live Facebook. But, of course, uh, if you're watching this or, or you're listening to this, on a podcast or watching it on YouTube later. You can't comment live, but you can also reach out to us in many different ways. Steve, do you want to talk about some of the ways they can find us and reach out to us? Oh, boy. There's all kinds of ways. We're on all the podcatchers, so we're yes, on we Stitcher. Yes. We're on Apple Podcasts. Indeed. Leave us a five-star review. Or subscribe. Or else. Or else. we got a Facebook page. We do have a Facebook and page. It's uh, Video Marketing Madness, and if you head over there, I think there's something you need to do now where you uh, say, I want their stuff first or something like that. I, I've been meaning to look <sighs> that up. Facebook, but uh, I'll tell you. you know, Or just like some posts, and then uh, under the follow button or under the like button, say, show me their stuff first. That's exactly. Best. You want to yeah. see the stuff. We put out a lot of good stuff. Twitter. Indeed. Twitter. Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter. I haven't used Twitter in ages, but you can follow us, and you can say things, and maybe Steve will notice because... I probably will. Plurk. So Plurk. We are on Plurk as well. If, you, if you're on the Plurk network, you can get us there. We're everywhere, I tell you, including on uh, Facebook and you know, all those other googly YouTube. things and YouTube. So feel free to reach out to us anytime you want, especially at Video Marketing Madness on Facebook. You can send us private messages, and we'll get back to you soon. All right, enough That's of that nonsense. One. Let's get into what we're really here to talk about, because today we want to talk about how to build a list with YouTube, and uh, there's some great stories behind this, but you know, building a list is one of the most important things you can do in any business, whether you're a, a dentist or a rug cleaner or you sell products online. It doesn't matter. You need to have a customer list that you can contact at any time through email or maybe phone or text or in whatever way you, can, you would prefer to reach out to people. You need to have a list so that you can do just that. And of course, that means list building. Now, for those of you that have traditional businesses, like we mentioned, the, the doctor, the dentist, the lawyer, your list building is likely going to be a new client intake form. However, online, list building consists of usually, uh, the old-fashioned way is give something away that's worth people giving you their email. So for instance, an ebook on uh, all things YouTube, 
You give that away and they put in their email and then you've got their email address that you can then use to send out updates, to send out information, to send out product offers and things like that. So the question is, when building your list, what is a good, fast way to be able to build it without, uh, you know, without too much effort, without too much cost? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story of what happened to me. Okay, I noticed when I was looking at my email list that I kept getting new subscribers. Every day I was getting new subscribers and I wasn't sure where they were coming from. And they kept, uh, they kept coming from, you know, so seemingly random places. And I was like, well, where are these people coming in? And I finally figured out what it was. It was all coming from YouTube. You see, I had put out a, a video that gave away a product and people were finding this on YouTube by themselves and then opting in, going to the page, opting in, getting, giving me their email in exchange for this product. So it was very cool, very cool discovery because I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, oh, I'm selling products so and my list is growing. I'm selling products. But in reality, what was happening was, at least in, in part, was people were finding this particular video on YouTube and they were going to the page and opting in. Now, the reason they were finding it, one, it, it actually ranked pretty well, um, but not for, you know, the, the keywords for it weren't massive, so it wasn't going to drive that much traffic, even though it was ranking. But what was happening was YouTube had a program where you could put an advertisement on your own videos with one of your videos. So in other words, as they're watching this video, a little banner comes on the bottom that says, you know, be sure to check this one out. And in it, uh, I had put on this particular one, you know, get your free graphics pack or, or whatever it was. I can't remember if it was the graphics one or the, the, the 10 useful things about YouTube. In any case, it was on every video that was popping up and people were clicking it and they were downloading it. So number one, I didn't even realize that that was there because I'd forgotten that it was there on most of those videos. But two, the fact that people were clicking on it, I was blown away by. I'm like, wow, people are actually clicking this, going to that video and then clicking to the web page and opting in. And of course, this just kept, you know, day after day, if you think about this, if you get even just five people a day, every single day, you know, that's 35 people a week. That's 150 people a month. Eventually, you're going to have a, a little decent sized list of people that have opted in for different products. And that's at only five people a day. So I thought to myself, what can we do to take this to an entirely new level, to really use YouTube to grow that list and uh, you know make a big difference and so I thought about it and I said well what about YouTube ads that's pretty easy so in other words the, the if I'm giving something away in a video that parts easy people like free stuff you make a decent video and you give something away in the video people are probably going to opt in and download it right I mean it's you know as long as it's a decent enough product so I thought well the only thing missing from that is a number of people and obviously, you know, if you did a video on free graphics, for instance, that's one that I've used for years that was really, really popular for a long time. Um, there's only so many people that you're going to reach by ranking that on Google or on YouTube. However, if you run ads, you can get tons and tons of people all the time that are getting in front of this particular offer that you're doing. And so what I decided to do was to do a little experiment. And so... I went out and I, I created a video of me doing some, some magic tricks. So I was doing all sorts of little magic tricks and things and I made a little video and I put a banner on the video that said, you know, uh, well, l let me go back one step. I went and I found a book, a PLR, if you don't know what PLR is, uh, that's private label rights and what that is is people create content and they put it out as PLR and then other people can come and they can purchase that and they can use it as their own. So in this case, I found something called the Encyclopedia of Card Magic. And so I downloaded the PLR version of the Encyclopedia of Card Magic. Probably cost me $3, I think, 3 or $5, something like that. And I'm now able to use that to give away, to sell, to, to turn into articles, to even rewrite it and say that I'm the author. Whatever I wanted to do with that, I could do. And so what I did was I created that video. I put a little banner at the bottom that says, get our free book, The Encyclopedia of Card Magic, by clicking here. And I made two videos. The other one, I actually found a Creative Commons video of somebody else doing magic, and I put the same banner on that one, and I put up two videos, and they both linked back to the page to download this Encyclopedia of Card Magic. And so 
what I did was I put the the videos up on YouTube. I did all the normal ranking things so that they would rank well and, and organically get some clicks. But of course, we knew probably not going to get a lot of clicks doing that. You know, it, you're going to get some. It's going to take a while. So what I decided to do was to run ads. Now in this case, I ran five dollars a day, and I ran it for just two days, just to check it out for two days. Well, at the end of those two days, Steve, you want to guess how many? opt-ins how many people opted into my magic card list in two days a thousand steve you're fired <laughs> it was 300 you now made oh. you ma you now made it seem much less impressive <laughs> <laughs> okay wait a minute okay ask the question again uh, steve how many do you think i would have gotten opted into uh to this list for the magic books 10. yes you you that would be a good guess unfortunately you're way under. We did much better than that. We did 300. I should, we should have discussed this beforehand, man. I'll tell you. All right. We got 300 opt-ins. Now, for those of you who do list building, you probably know that getting 300 opt-ins in about a day and a half to two days is a pretty good number, especially when we're talking about a completely cold list. You know, we didn't, we didn't have any magic content at all other than the video that I made and the one that I pulled off of. Uh, off of YouTube. So we didn't have any online content or magic content online. We didn't have a website. We didn't have a famous name to use. We didn't have anything like that. The only thing that we had was a couple of videos and a link back to a page that I created in, uh, in lead pages. And so very quickly, we were able to put this together and get those 300 people to opt in uh, right away. Now, this is a great experiment. But it does have a downside, and we're going to talk a little bit about this downside because when I did this experiment, I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if we'd build a list. I didn't know how fast we'd build a list. I didn't know how big of a list we'd build. And I only ran it for two days just to kind of test it. And what ended up happening was we got those 300 people to opt in. They downloaded that book, but I didn't have a contingency plan on that because now I've got this list of 300 people that like magic cards tricks. But I had nothing to sell them. I had nothing to give them. I had nothing else for them. You know, so I had to sit there and go, well, what do I do now? Well, unfortunately, I was busy with other things, and I never really did much with that list um, just because, you know, it was a test. It was an experiment, and um, I, I didn't think that far ahead at the time, which is kind of sad. So what I want to talk about is what I'm doing right now to use this, this case study as a way to build a list and actually make money doing it. And so this is where you'll want to pull out your pencil and pens and notebooks and iPads and you know stone tablets, whatever it is you want to take notes on, because this can be a lot of fun here. So what we're doing now. So I recently just started um, a new one that I'm doing where I'm giving away stock videos. Some of you, if you're on Facebook, you've probably seen my, my little post from yesterday giving away some of these stock videos. So... What we're doing is we put together a collection of a variety of different stock videos that we're giving away, and we created a squeeze page. Now, if you don't know what a squeeze page is, that's a page with a little bit of content specifically for getting you to opt in to download something. So typically, you know, if it's an ebook, a squeeze page might have a picture of an ebook and say, download our free book on XYZ, and then a place to put your email, and that's all the page is for. It's just for, for getting people to opt in and get a product. So I made a page with... Uh, six packs of stock videos that they could download for free and all they had to do was click the button at the bottom of the page now I use a, a special type of delivery system so I didn't have to have the opt-in on the page where they put in their email all they had to do is click a button that button brings them to the delivery system there they have to put in their email and then download the product now what we did was we have the people opt into that they get the 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 download goes to a page so now we've got a second page for the download itself. Now my delivery system, I could have had them just download the, the product right there. It could have just been automatically downloaded as soon as they opted in. But what we wanna do is we wanna monetize this as soon as possible. We've got people's attention right now. We've got them interested in a specific thing, in this case, stock video. So what I did was I created a page for them to land on after they put in their email. And at the top of the page, it just says, you know, hey, you're free stock videos are down at the bottom of the page but before you go here's a special offer for you and it just tells them you know we've got however many packs I don't even know how many packs of stock videos but hundreds and hundreds of stock videos in there 
all for $97. So what they have to do now is they got to scroll down the page and they got to see all the different types of stock video that we have until they get to the bottom. At the bottom, they can download their stock videos or they can purchase the whole collection that we have on that page for $97. And so the idea being is that we're offering them something for free, getting them to opt in, and then getting them to hopefully purchase a bigger version of that product before they download it. Now, on my delivery system, I go even a step further. So if they decide they're going to buy that for $97, they click on the $97 thing, I've actually got one-click upsells where they can add music to the package for you know, a pack of music for another $10, so $100, you know, $107 total. And the idea being is once we get traffic running to this, we'll get people opting in, but we'll probably get people making sales as well. And if you notice, the sale price is $97. And what that means is that if we get just a couple of sales, then that's going to more than pay for any advertising we do on YouTube. So we only have to have one to two sales in order to do that. So the second part of this is we have to now run ads. And here's the way that I set this up to run ads. I actually created two different videos that are probably about 80% the same. One video was specifically for YouTube and it literally talks about being on YouTube and, and I even point to the little eye icon for the, for the um, uh, YouTube cards and all that. And then for the website, I do the exact same pitch, basically, except I welcome them to the website. Thanks for coming to the website. You know, we've got videos here because we're going to have traffic that comes to that website without YouTube, and we're going to have people that come because they saw the YouTube video. So we kind of have to cater to both of those, and that's why we make sure that on the page, we create a specific one that says welcome to the page, and then tells the story of why we're giving away these free, bon these free items, and then how to download them, and just give them the instructions. On YouTube, we do the same thing, except we tell them to click the eye icon in the corner or the link down below, and that way they click on those, go to the page, see the other video, and make their purchase. So once we have the video up on YouTube, what I like to do is I like to run ads for either $5 a day or $10 a day. Now, in this case, I chose $5 a day, and I'm going to tell you exactly why, and we may go back and, and do the $10 a day. What I like to do is I like to do $5 on, video, on search for YouTube. So in other words, we're going to set up a campaign for people that are searching for stock video. So when they type in stock video, our video will show up. Even if it doesn't show up organically, it's going to show up at the top as an ad. Okay, and the video is going to be there. Or it'll be in the top corner, actually this corner over here. It'll be in that corner there above the suggested videos. That kind of thing. And the idea being that those are going to be the ones that are going to get a lot of clicks because what we're offering isn't something just fun or entertaining. People are searching for stock video. They're searching for free stock video and therefore our ad gets in front of those people very easily. And what I did was I targeted a variety of keywords. So things like royalty free video, stock video, free stock video, free royalty free video, uh, free videos of space, free videos of food. Because those are some of the categories that we had and just made a whole bunch of different keywords. YouTube, by the way, will suggest you more keywords. I used a bunch of the ones that they suggested, put those in there, and uh, set that up. Now, the other thing I may do is do a $5 ad for the in-stream videos. Uh, and what I mean by that, or for the in-stream ads, what that is is that's the pre-roll ad that comes onto a video before the video plays. And I, I chose not to do that at this time. I wanted to just do the search because I thought that was more relevant. But we may run it on the beginning of some videos as well uh, just to test that out you know, and, and see how that does. It should do pretty well if we do that too. But the search overnight, we got about 300 views. We got a, a bunch of opt-ins. Uh, we made one sale. You know, So we did pretty well with it just overnight. I only set it up last evening and it's already doing fairly well because of that. And we've barely spent, I think we, you know, as of a little while ago when I looked at it, we had spent maybe like $6 total on advertising. So it's a good investment and it works really, really well. So the question is, how can you do the same type of thing? Well, if you want to build a list, if you want to be able to make money doing this, you're going to need a few different tools in order to get this done. The first thing you're going to need is some way to create your videos. Now, in my case, I actually, I, you know, I'm sitting in front of my studio here. I've got the green screen here. I literally stood in front of the green screen. I put a background behind me and made a nice little video about stock media. 
put it together, and that's how I did it. You could do this with an animation. You could do this with a PowerPoint video. Anything that will give people the information they need. So if you, for instance, are a, uh, a dentist and you're trying to uh, get people to opt in locally for you know, some sort of guide so that you can then contact them and get them to come in and get their teeth whitened or whatever, you can do that just as easily. So you'll need to create a video of some sort. You'll need to have a product that you're going to give away. Now, where are you going to get the product that you give away? Well, that depends on your business. In the case of the dentist we talked about, you could write a short PDF about whatever it is you want to give away, you know, the, the top 10 toothbrushes. And you could create a little, uh, a little PDF about the top 10 toothbrushes and why they're the top 10 toothbrushes. If you're selling a product, you know, teach people something related to that product in a PDF. Um, if you're in an industry where there might be PLR products, go and search PLR. You know, it's very easy. Like, let's say you are, um, let's say your, your ultimate goal is you're going to be selling video cameras. Well, you can look on a video site, uh, or excuse me, on a PLR site, search it up, and look for PLR about video cameras. And I'm willing to bet there's probably an ebook out there that says, you know, your guide to choosing the perfect camera or something like that. And you could literally take that, buy it or download it, how, you know, however they, it, it may cost you a few bucks. But you can go in and you could relabel that, take the author's name off of it and put your name as the author of that book. You can go in and make modifications to that book. It's PLR. This is perfectly, you know, you're allowed to do this. It's private label rights. You can change it. You can add your name. You can do whatever you wish with that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take that ebook, you're going to put it somewhere where they can download it, and you're going to create that squeeze page. Now, if you don't know how to create a squeeze page, you can look on Fiverr. There's plenty of people that will help you make a squeeze page. You can use something like lead pages. You could use uh, Convertry. You could use Optimize Press for WordPress. You could use ClickFunnels. There's a lot of different options out there to be able to do that. So just look that up. And again, if you need somebody to help you, you can ask me or you can look on Fiverr. There's a lot of great ways to do that. Upwork will have plenty of people that can make that for you. Once you have your squeeze page, well, now you're going to take your video and you're going to put it on YouTube and you're going to get it to, you know, you're going to do your proper SEO. You're going to make sure that you've got a link back to that squeeze page in the video. Use YouTube cards, whatever you need to do to get people to click and go back to that squeeze page to download the product. Now, you're also going to need a place to collect those names. You're going to need an autoresponder of some sort. Now, in my case, I'm actually not even using an autoresponder. I'm actually using a uh, software delivery system that collects the names, and then I manually put them into my autoresponder. Main reason being is I use a, a new autoresponder that's not connected to that system, so I have to do it manually. Not a big deal. I just grab the list and I put it in. You know, I, I don't do it every day. I, I might do it once a week. Grab those people, put them into the, the actual autoresponder. So you'll need an autoresponder. You can use something like Aweber or Market Hero, Sendlane, Eye Contact, uh, Constant Contact, Get Response. So there's a lot of different autoresponders out there. They all basically do the same thing. My recommendation, even though I don't use them anymore and I was complaining about them online the other day, my recommendation to get started is probably to go with Aweber. It's very easy to get started. You can get started for only a dollar. So, I mean, think about this. If you, uh, if you start building your list, it'll cost you $1 to set up Aweber. You set up this little funnel, you start making a couple sales, and when the price for Aweber comes up in the next month, you've made enough money to pay for it and then some. So it's very easy to do that because it is free to start. MailChimp is another option. MailChimp is 100% free until you get a certain number of subscribers. So that's another option you can use. Now, there are some caveats with MailChimp. They're very difficult. Um, they tend to ban people very easily for little things that you don't even realize you did wrong. Always keep a backup of your list. If, if you use MailChimp, there's a good chance they're going to ban you at some point. They're going to take that list, and you're going to be out. You, all that work will be gone. You won't have that list anymore. So keep a backup of that list. Any of those autoresponders will work. You're going to connect it to that to the uh, squeeze page so that when people opt in on the squeeze page, they get put into that list, and now you've got them captured. Now, for the second half of that, you're going to take that same squeeze page company, whatever you're using for the squeeze page, and you're going to make the delivery or the thank you page. The thank you page is going to have information about an upgraded product that they can purchase, and it's going to have the download of the actual product. The idea here being that you're giving them the download that they opted in for, but you're telling them, hey, we got a special offer. If you purchase now, you'll get this as well. 
and then they'll be able to hopefully make a little bit of money off of that. Now, some people skip the money part. They'll go straight into just give them the product, build the list, and then email the list with products later. That works perfectly fine as well. I like to give them an offer right away because they're right there. They're already you know active, but you can do it the other way too. Just build that list and then later on you can make offers to them and that works just as well. So you can do either one of those things. But again, you'll use that same page creator to create your thank you page and give the downloads. Uh, one thing that you may want to look into is a product delivery system because once per people get that product or they buy the upgrade product, you're going to need to deliver it to them, but you don't want them to be able to just go, oh yeah, hey, I got this free thing here and here's the link. Anybody can use it and they can log in and download it. So what I use is, and this is a, a company that I've used for years. It's fantastic. They do a lot of great things. It's a company called Send Owl, S-E-N-D-O-W-L. And what that does is that allows you to put your products into their system and give an encrypted link where people have to opt in to get the product. And it makes life easier. You now, now for your squeeze page, you don't have to put an opt-in if you don't want to. You can just put a click to the link and it'll take them directly to SendOwl who will collect the, the link for you and give the download. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to build packages of items. So for instance, in my case, with the, video, uh, the uh, stock videos, I have different packages. So I've got space, I've got food, I've got you know, different categories of stock videos, all with their own link. Well, with a product like SendOwl, I can go in and say, create a bundle. And then for that bundle, I choose space, food, whatever the ones I wanna do. And then it creates a new link that leads to each of those individual items. So you now have one link to get all of those things. You can now put that onto the squeeze page and boom, people can go in and they can grab the product that way. So very easy, again, send owl. Uh, not necessary, but makes life a lot easier, Defin and it's cheap. It's something you'll wanna check into, very cool stuff. Okay, so now you've got your product and you've got your list, you're starting to build that list. And the way we do that is by running those ads, just like we talked about. So you're gonna run $5 or $10 a day. You're gonna run the, the um, what I do is I actually use a promoted video uh, sort of scheme with this. So in other words, I'm not using a video ad to go directly to the squeeze page. I'm using a video ad to get people to watch the video and the video has the link to the, to the actual squeeze page in the download. Now the reason I do this is I want people to watch that video because that's gonna boost it organically. And if I did a, 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 you know, a, a more traditional style ad where people search, they click, they go right to the page, we're not gonna get that boost on the, on the video itself. And so we want that video to boost, so I like to promote the video, get lots of views, and that'll help it to skyrocket up to the top so when people are searching, they're gonna find it organically as well. But there are a few different options for doing that. That's just the way that I choose to do it. Um, but you can do it the other way, which is to have a link directly back to the page, and then you can skip that. Now, the one thing about that is you may run into trouble with Google, YouTube, if you do that, because they may say, well, this page is not compliant. But because we're advertising to the video itself, there is no page to be compliant. So it, it just makes life a little easier that way as well. So that's why I, I do it that way. So in any case, once you have your list, what are you gonna do? Well, now you gotta do what I didn't do. You have to have a purpose for collecting this list. So if you're the dentist, you now need to follow up with every single person and get them to come in and get their teeth done. If you are a product seller, you gotta now offer them your product or you've got to offer them another. If you're an affiliate marketer, you've got to offer them related products that you get a commission off of. And the way we do that is by using that autoresponder and that list to be able to mail out to those folks with updates, with offers, with whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And so that's how you build your list, you start using that list and how you start making money both on the front end and through the list itself. And believe me, you know, once you build a list, that list can be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in sales if you do it right. And it all starts with building the list, and this is just one great way to be able to build a list very, very quickly. So there you go. That's it. I'm done. What do you think, Steve? Great stuff, Ray. I think you outlined this in a very simple to follow format. We'll, I certainly uh, hope so. We'll have show notes that we'll get into the comment section of the Facebook Live and have on the podcast. 
I do have uh, a bit of a side question. Uh oh, here we go. Pull off to the shoulder of the road yes, here. Yes, let's do it. YouTube cards. Yes. I set up a new channel for a customer of mine, and I started trying to use cards, and I think YouTube said they had to have a certain number of subscribers and views. Is that Yes, true indeed. Yeah. Yes. This is a new change that YouTube has made. Uh, fortunately, my, mine were already well past that, so it, it, it's okay. I can do that. Um, with YouTube cards, now don't get scared, by the way. If you don't have YouTube cards, you can't use YouTube cards, put it in the link in the description. You're, honestly, you're probably going to get most of your clicks through that anyway. Um, what YouTube did was they made a change where because of some issues with advertising and, and things like that where people were doing things they weren't supposed to and, and advertisers were getting angry and, and whatnot, um, they've made it so that to be a partner with YouTube, you have to hit certain um, certain levels of certain things in order to do that. And going back, there's there's some other things you want to be able to do too. You you got to have a channel where you've got a, a you know you've got your graphic on the channel page and you've got your icon. Um, that's that's an older thing that's been around for a while to do certain things with your channel. But now you have to have a thousand subscribers. So that's the first thing you have to have is a thousand subscribers in order to get some of these marketing things in there. You also have to have and and now don't get scared when I say this because it, it should scare you, but don't let it. Um, 4,000 hours of watch time in the past year. That's a lot of watch time. <laughs> so in other words, you need to have, if you have a thousand videos, you know, you've got to get people watching four hours on each one. And, um, that's a lot of hours to watch, but it can be done. It can be done. And, and you have to put in a real effort for that. Um, you know, and I think, uh, I think they have to have 10,000 views as well. Um, and that's, total 10,000 that that's easy to get to that shouldn't be a, an issue for anybody but the watch hours is a big one so you definitely have to get people watching your videos in order to get some of that but again you don't need to have that you don't need cards in order to make this work in fact when when I originally did it there was no YouTube cards, so it, it didn't matter um, you know it, they didn't even exist but yeah you definitely want to have um, the link in the description make sure that people click on it there and then of course you, if you get cards, you can put it in there. And, and in your video, by the way, you can simply say, click the link down in the description. Put the link on the page so they could write it down if they want. Whatever you need to do to get people to pay attention to that. And it'll work just as well. Um, you know, long before any of these tools and things existed, we were making money and we were setting these things up so it wasn't a big deal. Then it shouldn't be a big deal now. In fact, quite honestly, YouTube cards... I thought it was a great idea when they added them in there, but yeah, they, they haven't been all that great. You know, people don't pay I attention. I miss the annotations. Anyway, so. The annotations were much better, but we won't even yeah. open uh, open that can of worms. So, yeah, yeah. But, all right, Ray, good stuff. And this is the radio yeah. show about video, video marketing madness with Ray, the video guy. I'm Steve Sleeper, Earn Dot Show Podcast Network. Today's show made possible by made possible by Tube Buddy. If you're using YouTube and trying to market, well, then you need a buddy to help you along the way. And that's where TubeBuddy steps in. TubeBuddy provides you with a variety of different uh, tools and marketing items that you can use to market your videos and make sure that you get more views and more clicks and more sales and just makes life a lot easier when marketing on YouTube. So check it out today at TubeBuddy.com slash Ray the Video Guy. There you go. Very good. And with that, Steve, I think it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. And that is the Ray the Video Guy jingle. And here it is. Here it is. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat. He's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy.